Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and heavy stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta bleed Imagine we ended up being stressed, and that's why we decided to come here. You can even see some of us are not in the beach attire. <laughs> yeah, we are just stressed. Personally, I'm stressed, and I'm just wondering when you come here, you want to reset, to relax, and then something just happen. So, this is what happened. But let's just pass. let's go look for food somewhere. It's then we can have energy to just speak about what happened and maybe you can help someone who is planning to come here someday. Yeah, so see when we are ready. Guys, let's wait and see what happens, and let's see what we fight to eat. Okay, beers, it's time to eat. Hey, keep your body for the command of the food. Kimbi The Jesest Adventures in Mombasa But it looks nice There's just something about you walking beside those waves in the beach because it just gives you that, oh, the feeling of just relieving yourself, the stress you have. This day we had been robbed, yes, all the money, almost everything we had, and we didn't know what to do next. And I started thinking about my family, and I was like, should we fix ourselves and just stay around with the savings we had, or should we just pack and go back home but i knew that would cause more stress so we had to just give ourselves more energy and just enjoy this vacation but honestly just this walk beside those waves in the beach was just the best decision so we did that at our own pace no forcing no pushing and that was all and we enjoyed the beach walk so i took to taste kwanza my job Joy, may I have, but I can't even remember the taste. Yeah, That's what it is.
Does it taste? Yeah. Hey, that is. You know what? I just I can't even remember the last time I took it. I expected a better taste of it. And if you must want that, it's quite Buy what you want. Huh? Maybe I don't eat those things. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't eat those things. But you can eat, by the way, if you want. Taki? Should buy it on attack. Oh, Taki? You promote these small businesses so that they can grow. How do you expect them to grow if you don't promote them? I should have back. So that's how much? 
Is it? How much? Or oh, 50 bob? I'm not sure. But if you only 50. It went for 50 bob. Like it is not focusing. It's a cashata new. Maybe I'm going to pack it. Why do you need to pack it? Here is food color. Is it going to be good? So you want to take a gun? Yes. 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 Yoni, kiku yu, kiku ni lugea taifa wapi? Sinenu wa kiku ni kujichocha. So, after Madafi, I have not even thrown away that thing. You have only bought Mabuyu. Okay, let's test this street food. Ukwa juni nini? Nini nakaanga mandazi? Inakaji? Inaka mandazi? So a little after the beach walk, we passed by a restaurant just somewhere and got takeaway food so that we can just enjoy it without pressure about time. I don't know, going back to the apartment, all that. And because we are moving around with somebody, uh, took to guy, yes. If you're not from Mombasa, you don't know about this. I guess that's the main means of transport that's tough for the ball, yes. I guess it's not like Nairobi where we have bought Uber that. All over. I guess it's different. Yes, we didn't try to look for an Uber. <laughs> but the two trucks are all over. When you're stepping out of the gate, they are just there. So we decided to use one. So that's why we had to just take food and come enjoy it in the apartment. And we had a, as we had a chit chat about the day, the following day, the activities are going to take. Or have we even just gone back home yet or what? So that's what we did for the night. And it was over. And then we just went to sleep, but later after watching some few things here and there. I just want to make it last, try to let go of the past. I guess that's okay. Apart from this curtain that I want to show you, like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, so guys, I was editing this video and I noticed there's a part. A story that was supposed to give you that we didn't. Unfortunately, my sister is busy doing something else and... I said, hey, let me just do this part alone because they understand the story. So what happened to this our second day here in Mombasa? So in the morning, we woke up very well, went for breakfast because we decided we are not going to cook. At least we can burn it. And to put a cup of kitchen kidogo pia. Natuna, tuna to pia natuna pika. We said, no, we are just going to buy food. So we went out for breakfast. Took our breakfast, snacky bandaski out there. And we came back. So when we came back, I said, hey, let me just take a nap because I don't know why it's cold in Mombasa this time. Hmm. It's cold, by the way, it's not hot as usual. So I decided, let me take a nap. Yes, because I slept late. Let me just take a nap. Then we wake up later, prepare, and then we can step out to go. Maybe wanted to go to Mamba village or even go book a ferry there and go to the other side of Mombasa. That's Diani. So I took a nap, but before taking a nap, I prepared the clothes, the Nilfa Kuba, whatever was supposed to put on when stepping out. And also, we did put our coach there, the coaches were there with the money, and I slept, and I left that door wide 
open simply because i couldn't lock it because my sister was out there so i thought maybe there's something she'll need from me and i don't want to wake up when she comes to knock the door so i left it wide open and i slept and the coach was there but my instincts were telling me don't leave it there and let me tell you i felt it don't leave it there what if someone just comes in because this is a villa it's a four bedroom villa and we have other people around not just us but i thought ah, i don't think there's someone who can just come and pick the coach when i'm sleeping so i slept i left the coach there woke up after one in fact she woke me up after one hour and i got the bathroom so no i was in the bathroom i was like did they even check that coach whether the money is still there or even my sister's bag <laughs> i did so after preparing and stepping out going to look for the coach and maybe get some cash there was nothing even a bob we have not paid the the rooms it's a lot of money we don't know what we are going to eat the transport and air to me because we didn't book the tickets we said we will come, we'll come here and decide when we are going to go back and book the tickets only to find out we didn't have even a shilling do you know i cried because she had the money in the coach i was like no what are you even going to do? Because when I cried, we called the caretaker of the villa. She said that the little cleanser she has been here for two years, so maybe someone else who is within the villa took the money. So what we did, we, we waited for the guy who was within, and he had stepped out. Apparently in the morning, he had fishy behaviors, and my sister noticed that. So we, decided, we called our friend who referred us here, and he, told, he advised us to ask the guy some questions. And also put it, put him on loudspeaker so that they can also hear the conversation. So that's what we did. We did hear the conversation. They did hear the conversation and came to a conclusion that this guy was hiding something. But also they were pushing us too hard to involve the authorities. And personally, Miss Pendigurugu, I don't like issues. By the way, I'm that person, Miss Pendigurugu. So I said it. I'll act cool and also ask them, Kwani, even if it's 100k or even 10 or 20,000, for how long will he take that cash? Will he use it? So I decided, no, I'm not going to follow up with that case and just leave it at that. So as much as I'm stressed, I said I'm not going to add myself more stress because following up with this guy, following up with the case, it's just going to throw my mind and I'm going to feel bad. So just like that, our vacation was cut short because we didn't expect it to stay here. We have to pay the rooms, we have to buy food. So yeah, so we are going to be here maybe for tomorrow instead of Mondays, we're going to cut short our holiday tomorrow just because someone decided to take advantage of our soil because I've been saving for this vacation. Guys, you don't understand. But anyway, let me just say there's a reason for everything. Maybe God is protecting us from worse things that can happen when we're here. <laughs> In any case, so that's it. That's, so that's the story. And I hope when you, you come to such places, BNBs, and there are other people in the villa or wherever you are living you are going to be careful because i learned that i have to be careful i don't have to trust people because i trust people so easily just looking at you i guess sometimes i trust people blindly because that's what i did so that's what happened our money went it was a lot it was more than four thousand five thousand and we felt bad we felt bad but anyway we still have to put ourselves together came back to nairobi work harder and even go to other places not just here and but this time no one is going to steal our money because you're going to be careful <laughs> okay so that's the end of the video so wait for another one tomorrow we are going to definitely drop another one because we are still here around we're going to give you more content and we try as much as we can to be consistent yeah personally i tried for this my channel or my family's channel yeah so till the next one guys cheer remember to like this video subscribe and i hope you have learned something and have yourself a beautiful beautiful 2023 full of god's blessings cheers and more.